Hey yo, welcome to Slay the Spy here. Today playing the daily challenge for August 27th, 2020. The character is the Watcher, and the modifier star sealed deck. Craft a deck from 30 random cards. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And binary, card rewards contain only two cards. I see Vorpal up here with 1568, a very good score. Second place right now. Let's see how well we can do. Sealed deck and time dilation. I'm actually surprised. That's a high score for not a run that looks like to have a lot of elites. Um, probably going to go for, well, definitely want to go for the collector bonuses. So let's see if we can get some good duplicates. Uh, let me first see how often I can switch stances. So I have Indignation Crescendo that allow me to enter Wrath. Uh, do I have ways to exit it? Oh, none? Fear no evil. I guess that works. And Tranquility and Empty Mind. All right. So I might want to pick some of those. I personally really like Battle Him. Wallop is pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good options here. Okay, let me do... Let's definitely pick up Fear No Evil. Um, actually, I guess at this point I only have two ways to enter Wrath, right? So it's just the Crescendo and Indignation. I should probably pick up both. And then Tranquility. I think that's fine. Or Empty... Uh, let's do Tranquility. Um, or Empty Mind. Let's do Tranquility. Okay, so that's four cards. And then I should probably focus on Offense. So definitely Wallop. Um, definitely to protect. Uh, let's see. So there are two hulls. Let's do cut through fate. That's a good attack card. Mm, Sands of time is probably going to take a little too long to be useful. Carve reality, I think it's good. Uh, deceive reality for block. I lost track. I think I have nine cards, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So the last card, what should that be? There are lots of good options. I can do flying sleeve, third eye, evaluate, follow up, bowling bash. Who's my final boss here? Um, okay, Guardian. So maybe I should focus a little more on defense. Battle him. It is a good card. Not against the Guardian, though. But I think I'll take Battle him and then try to pick up defensive cards afterwards. Yeah, let's do the Battle him. I think it's worth it. All right, so um, I have just Protect and Deceive Reality for defense. I guess Wallop helps, too. And then the rest is offense or support. Okay, not bad. I mean, the Watcher uh, it can... Well, if any character can be super aggressive, it's probably the Watcher. All right, so there are multiple two elite paths. Uh, actually, not that many, just two. Well, uh, three. So if I start on the left, I can get four, five question marks here, and then here I have to choose left or right. On the left, I'll get another two. On the right, zero. Okay, so that's five on the left. On the right, I get one, two, way less. Okay, so let's go in this way. A bunch of early question marks. That should help. All right. Um, yeah, for example, here I can do Crescendo, Indignation, and then Fear No Evil, 28 damage. That's a little overkill, too. I should be able to kill with whatever I got afterwards. Yeah, I was overthinking this. This was easy. Okay, Halt follow-up. Well, if I am thinking of defense, let's take the Halt. Okay, gain gold for HP. That's fine. And um, I actually don't want to remove a card. I'm pretty happy with all the cards I have. So let's continue. All right. Here is my first curse, as well as Pentograph at Star Boss Combat, seal 25 HP. I have to figure out a ways to discard that curse because I don't currently have any. Um, let's do. I uh, probably don't want to do. Actually, hang on. This will give me 12 block, but I also get attacked for 22. That seems unnecessary. Uh, let's do battle him and Hulk and just call it a day. Okay. A little bit of damage here, but that's fine. Um, here I can do. Cut through fate. Actually, can I kill? Yeah, I think I can do wallop and then fear no evil. No, that's not enough. Uh, all right, let's just kill you this way. Okay. Maybe I should have entered wrath. I can do it now. All right. Okay. Okay, stance potion. That's going to be very useful. I'll take a follow up here. And yeah, I have to remember I am going for collector bonuses. We got Akabiko, your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. Too bad I don't have any multi hits yet. Okay, so here I definitely want to... Hmm, what do I want to play first? I probably want to do Battle Him and Indignation. And then still wait. I don't think I want to attack here. I probably want to wait till I have a bunch of the uh, Smites in my hand. Or is this the right turn to attack? Can I exit Wrath next turn? I do have a Fear No Evil next turn. Okay. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, let's do Carve Reality. Yep. And then follow up. I am thinking of drinking, the, uh, playing the Deceive Reality, so I have consistent block, although I do also have a Protect. Uh, so then let's do Smite. Actually, 
I have a reasonable chance. Never mind, I can kill here. Perfect. I right, got Giria. You can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times, as well as a second protect. Yeah, I was complaining about defense here. All right. Uh, okay, curse number two, as well as a bunch of gold. And then here I got Ceramic Fish. One of you add a card to deck, gain nine gold. Uh, and then I decided to go on the left, right? That gives me one more lead and two more question marks. Here I probably should... Well, is there anything I want to upgrade? Not really. Let's let's uh, gain some strength. I mean, obviously there are tons of things I want to upgrade, but I think getting strength is probably more important here. All right, Jawworm, 11 incoming. Uh, let's do Fear No Evil follow-up. Actually, I'm pretty sure I could have killed with the Crescendo. You know what? Let's try it. Yep. We got a Regen Potion. Sure, I'll take it. Sash Whip follow-up. Uh, well, I could get for a collect uh, go for a Collector Bonus on follow-up. I should also sort A to Z. Okay, yeah, let's take a second follow-up. Okay. All right, sentries. This might be a little hard to perfect. Uh, I will might as well drink the regen potion here. So deceive reality alone is not enough, right? Uh, so yeah, let's do battle him, halt, deceive reality, and then I need a little bit extra. So safety. Yeah, have to. No other choice there. Okay. All right. 18 incoming. Can I fully defend here? I do have a wallop. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Um, with the Ekabi code also will give me a bunch of um, block, right? Let's do Indignation. Okay. And then Wallop. Almost kills this guy too, right? Actually, since I'm fully defended if I play it, I should probably target this guy. Wait, do I have... I am guaranteed to kill next turn, right? Yeah, let's do this. That way I don't have to worry about defense next turn. Or this turn for that matter. And then I could even do a Fear No Evil. Exit Wrath. Do I want to stay in Wrath? I don't mind being in Wrath. Uh, I should definitely just play another card, though. Yeah, let's just do a smite here. Okay. Alright, yeah, that wallop plus I could be good. It's a very good combination. Okay, kill you. I should have used the card reality. That was silly. Alright, I'm actually overthinking it again. Okay. We got meat on the bone. A few HP is added below 50% at the end of combat. Heal 12 HP. As well as Bowling Bash would work well with the Ekabiko. Um, flying Sleeves too. Let's take the Flying Sleeves just because Bowling Bash is not the best card. Um, remove or heal. Definitely don't need to heal. Probably don't need to remove either. Yeah, let's leave. Shop or regular fight. I do have a good amount of gold. Let's go for the shop. Uh, frozen Eyes, interesting. Bottle Lightning. Is there a skill I need? I should definitely take another Wallop. Hand of Reed is interesting because I might want to go for the Popper modifier. I would like more ways to... I don't have any Scry in this. Alright, uh, let's think. So Frozen Eye would help. When viewing a dropout, the cards are not shown in order and it's also not too expensive. Bottle Lightning, is there a skill I need in my opening hand? Not really. Not yet, at least. Uh, question card. Future card, what's one additional card to choose from? I mean, it'll make it a little easier to get collector bonuses, but I think I'll focus on uh, Wallop. Or an Influence is good. Probably don't need Wreath of Flame. I might just... I don't even think I want... No, Discovery is pretty good, too. All right, let's take Discovery. Study is cheap. Would help with card draw. Okay, I think I stopped though. Um, the shop wasn't as amazing. I think I, I definitely can hold my gold for a slightly better shop, hopefully. Okay. So defense is going to be the biggest problem here. Uh, let's see what foreign influence gives me. Sneaky strike. I don't discard anything. Let's do crush joints. Okay. Uh, do I want to do crescendo? Yeah, because I should be able to split. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can split this turn too, right? Without the crescendo. Let's do crush joints. Yeah, this already splits him. Uh, well, yeah, sure, let's split. I'm a little uncomfortable because I don't have any of my, of my protects yet. All right, Wallop should help. Uh, I could crescendo it too. And then, um, yeah, actually, hang on. If I do crescendo and then indignation, the vulnerability is going to help a lot. Yeah, so now I really don't have to worry about block this turn. Okay, and there's another wallop. Perfect. That's exactly what I was sort of aiming for. Let's do wallop. Okay, 30, 32. Oh, I need a little bit extra block here. Uh, Deceive reality is not going to be enough if I played another attack, right? Uh, 32. Yeah, let's just do Deceive reality then. Okay. Still have the tranquility in my deck, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, can I kill him here? I can do Carve Reality, or not Kill, but Split. Yeah, I, I think I can, right? The Vulnerability makes a huge difference, I think. I might even be able to kill this turn, right? 50, and then another... Yeah, all right, perfect this one. Very good. It was also a very fast run, right? We got an Energy Potion, and between Establishment... 
Wait, why am I getting only two cards offered? Uh oh, I have. Wow, I didn't notice that. So maybe question card was the right right relic to take. I have for some reason completely ignored the fact that I only have two card choices. All right. Uh, anyway, between Alpha and Establishment, I don't think I'll go with any of these. So let's skip this one. I'll try to go for the Popper Modifier. And then here, I probably want to go with the Calling Bell. Up on pickup, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Yep. So that will give me the Curse of the Bell, Curse number three, as well as Pendip. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. Strike Dummy, cards containing Strike deal three additional damage, which is utterly useless for us. And Duvidal, for each curse in your deck, start your combo with one strength. I actually don't think the Watcher has any card that has the word Strike in it. Um, well, unless, uh, of course, not counting the starter cards, which I don't have. But the Duvidal is pretty good. All right. Uh, ooh, yeah, very few Elites. Actually, looks like there's only one Elite Path. That's disappointing. Wow, alright, that also happens somewhat rarely. Okay, I guess next I'll maximize question mark rooms. So I can do, what is that, 5 on the left, and on the right, less than that. Yeah, I guess I'll go on the left. Very disappointing, actually. Okay, yeah, if I go on the left, there's also an option to go for a left. Oh, no, actually, wait, yeah, 5. So I can skip a question mark to go for a shot, but I think this should be fine. Okay, 10 incoming for an influence gives me... I mean, I do have a good amount of strength, right? So... Yeah, let's do Flying Sleeves, though. Uh, use the Akabiko. Follow up to get this guy on the ground. Oh, never mind. Actually kill. And then, uh, looks like I will take 5 damage, though. Not much I can do about that, which is fine. I guess I could have entered Wrath, but I'd rather keep the um, Stance Potion for a fight where I might need it more. So let's do um, Fear No Evil Indignation. That's not a good idea. Let me do Discovery first. Empty Body, Empty Mind. Yeah, let's do Empty Mind. Okay. And then Cut Through Fate. Carve Realities. Actually, no, Follow Up is good. Mm -hmm. Get this guy to the ground. And then uh, this will give me an up block. Oh, you know what? Let me just kill this guy. Yeah, these fights can take forever if I don't have good AoE cards, which I don't. Alright, um, let's do... Uh, yeah, Crescendo's not even... You know what? Let's just play it. Just so that the Regret also deals less damage. Yeah. Alright, we've got a Swift Potion, follow-up, Empty Body. Yeah, let's go for another follow-up. Collector bonus, potential collector bonus. Okay, Chosen, 10 incoming. Uh, definitely Wallop. Let me see what Foreign Influence gives me first. Backstab is fine. Yeah, let's take... Well, actually, it's going to be zero cost either way, right? And then Discovery gives me Sense of Time, which is going to be zero. Oh, this wasn't zero cost, right? Because I have to upgrade that. Um, so then, yeah, let's just do Wallop, Sense of Time. And uh, actually, he's almost dead, right? Okay. All right. Crescendo pressure points. Yeah, another crescendo is fine. A little worried that I'm chasing the collector bonuses and uh, not really. I don't really have good defense. But uh, again, I don't think I'll remove anything. I'm pretty happy with all the cards I have. Actually, was this the right path? I could have also gone right. Uh, no. Actually, I think they're the same, right? Question mark fight, regular fight, question mark, and then after that, it'll be the same because I'll go this way to get. Um, well, I guess I could go to the left to get a shop. No, um, hang on. So after this point, if I go on the left, it's elite, rest, shop, uh, shop, and question mark. On this way, it's two question marks. Okay, so instead of a shop, there's a, a rest side, which, um, you know what? I'll go on the left then. I think the I don't need the rest side that badly. Well, at least not an extra rest side. All right, let's see what this gives me. Thunderclap is fine. Um, let's do Akabiko Flying Sleeve Stone. Then Thunderclap. And then I'll do the wallop. Okay. Alright, the front line is almost... Well, no, he is dead. Okay, I might as well drink the Tranquility. I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill easily. Do have 10 incoming here. Let's do Crescendo, Indignation, Clock Reality, and Kill. Okay. Got a Dex Potion I probably don't need. Talk to the End is pretty good. Although, I could get uh, a third Crescendo, but I think Talk to the End is one of those cards that are... Very important to pick up. Okay, so these guys don't have the slow debuff. Uh, yeah, let's do talk to the hand and then the follow-ups. Double damage, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, let's do wallop. That should also give me block. Actually, I can do... Uh, yeah, let's do crescendo and then wallop. Okay. That way I'm fully defended and should be able to kill next turn. 37 damage seems very doable. Indignation for an influence for a pummel. I do have a lot of strength. That's 40. All right. Okay. Foresight Sanctity. Yeah, Foresight is pretty good. Let's take it. Let's upgrade it too. I decided to go on the left, right, for the extra shop. 
I think it's worth it. Yeah, basically, the difference between left and right is just an extra rest set here, which I don't really need. I just need one rest set coming up for the extra strength with Giria. Okay, this is uh, not a good start. I might drink the Swift Potion here, although I can kill, but I would like... You know what, let me drink the Swift Potion first. Okay, then let me see what Discovery gives me. I guess I'll do follow-up. Uh, it's not going to kill anything, which is the problem. So, okay. Um, kind of want to play talk to the end of the backliner. I guess I don't need to double play that, though. So I can do follow-up, and this guy's attacking for 8 if I enter Wrath. So I can do protect and talk to the end, right? Wait, 1. I should do follow-up second. Okay. So then it'll only deal 10 damage. It's not enough to kill. With Indignation it will be, though. All right, all right, so I think let's do talk to the hand, then follow up. Uh, no, oh, I misplayed this. Wait, how was I gonna, I was supposed to enter Wrath first. Let me rerun re this, or uh, restart this. Yeah, because I have to play the um, follow up after playing an attack, so I can't play the um, Wrath card in the middle. So let me still draw cards and then play the Indignation first. Yeah, and then do talk to the, oh, uh, wait, what happened? Discovery, I forgot to play that. Okay, good. And then play Talk to the Hand, and then do the follow-up. Okay? And then, um, I probably will drink the Energy Potion, so I can do a Protect, and Deceive Reality. Okay, I think that's good. There's a small chance he might not attack me next turn. He isn't, very good. So then I, I should probably try to kill the Frontliner here. Let's do Cut Through Fate. That's not going to be enough. Should I do Wallop? It's like a waste of a wallop, but fine. And then cut through fate. Uh, foresight is good enough that I think I'll play the miracle to play it. Okay. All right, he's still not attacking. Um, I am getting attacked, so I need some damage. For an influence, it's fine. Battle, yeah, these are all fine. Okay, let's do um, for an influence first. Master of Stab is pretty good. I have Oh, no, I took damage from Regret, right? So it'll cost me one HP. Maybe Bowling Bash is better. Let's do Bowling Bash. Yeah, it'll be better to have in the future, too. Kill you, then uh, double damage on you. Actually, I can... Wait, can I kill here? Yes, I think I can. All right, I think I was overthinking this. This was probably an easier fight than I made it out to be. All right, we got a letter opener. Every time play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Uh, did I pick up an empty body? I think I should either way, right? Yeah, probably better than the prostrate. Okay, here, let's gain the lost uh, strength from Giria. So now I should start with six strength and... Hoping to pick up some more curses. Uh, yeah, this will give me a collector bonus. Also, yeah, let's do it. Okay. And then here I got pair up and pick up Racer Mech by 10. Very nice ordering with the relics there. Okay, so this shop. Uh, Centennial Puzzle is not a bad idea. Consecrate is pretty good. Probably definitely want to go for another Protect. Probably definitely, right? Um, probably don't need Medical Kit. Yeah, I think Centennial Puzzle is good. The first time you lose HP, each combat, draw three cards. Nunchaku is also not bad. Every time I play 10 attacks, gain extra energy. I do play a lot of attacks. And then let's take the Consecrate. And I think a Block Potion is also valuable. And uh, probably don't need the Energy Potion. Yeah, I think I should be fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, another Collector Bonus. That's a lot of max HP, but... Sure. Yeah, why not? Another Collector Bonus. Okay. Choose another card. Or Oh, actually, I don't need to heal, right? Yeah, let's choose another card. Meditate is good. Tantrum is really good with all the strength I have. Um, for collector bonuses, another wallop would be good. I actually think I should go with another wallop. Nah, it should be a tantrum. Tantrum is pretty good, yeah. Wallop would be nice, but I think tantrum would allow me to enter wrath and finish fights faster. All right, here, let's do bite, wallop, and then wallop. Uh, I mixed up my words there. Follow up and then wallop. All right, I'm not in wrath yet. Let's do... Um, halt first, then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take some damage here, right? Let's do Miracle, Study, Bite, and Follow-Up. Uh, that's actually a lot of damage. Um, do I want to drink the blood? No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept the damage here. I, may, I I could rest in the next fight if I want to, in the, the next rest side, I mean. And I have the meat on the bone, right? So that's good. Okay, so here I'll do Crescendo. Actually, yeah, I can just kill. Yeah, I was overthinking it. Okay, we got fruit juice, gain five max, it should be very nice. I'll drink that right away. And then fear no evil or foresight. I have one of each. Probably fear no evil slightly better. Yeah, now I really have to worry about card draw. 
Sneko. Um, let's do Crescendo, Carve Reality, and Follow Up. And then a Smite for a kill. Okay. We got a Fire Potion, Rushdown, Study. I do enter Wrath often enough for Rushdown to be worth it. Study would have also been nice. Okay, now I can actually upgrade. Probably want to upgrade the Apparitions now. Oh, actually, I should have upgraded the Foreign Influence first. That seems like a slightly more urgent upgrade. Okay, not getting attacked this turn. Two apparitions might be... Actually, I have Frozen Eye, right? What am I thinking? So next turn, I, I won't have any apparitions, so I feel like I have to play two this turn. Uh, let's do... Oh, uh, yeah, let's do Fear No Evil and then follow up. Actually, I guess I can do Bite 2 and then follow up. And then two apparitions, okay? And we don't have to worry about block next turn. Three incoming. Actually, never mind. I still have to worry about block. What's coming up after this? Dis uh, Discovery Indignation. Okay. Let's do Crescendo Rushdown. Okay. Did I just mess it up? It was the other way around, right? I'm sorry. I have to. That was the whole point. I wanted to draw cards. Let me reload. Th this one, I don't feel guilty because that was basically... Well, it wasn't It wasn't a lack of knowledge. It was just an inattention. Uh, let me... What did I do here? I did Fear No Evil, Bite, Follow Up, and then the Apparitions, right? Okay. I still have to worry about defense next turn. I might have to drink the block potion. Okay, so rush down first, then crescendo. Okay. All right. Um, I was thinking of doing indignation, but I don't think I can now. So let's see what discovery gives me. Bowling bash is not a bad idea. Yeah, diva form would be nice. It would solve my energy problem, but I don't think energy is a problem. I think card draw is a bigger problem. So let's do bowling bash. Uh, this will deal... Wait, why is it doing so much damage? Oh, right. I'm in wrath and I have a bunch of uh, strength. So hang on. 26 and 3, that's a lot. Um, should I, you know what? Let's just kill a minion. Okay. And I'll do follow up. And then um, I don't think I need to exit Wrath. So let's drink the block potion so I don't take any damage. And then let me do this. Okay. All right. Let me also plan ahead real quick. So this turn I'll need. No, this turn I'll need defense. And then this turn I'll need defense. So unless I draw too many cards, the apparition should come up in the right turn. Which is good. Next turn, though. Oh, yeah. I don't have an apparition next turn. That might be a problem. And I don't have a... Ooh. I don't have a way to defend either. Oh, that's not good. Um, I guess... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here, right? Because I can't even draw cards. Uh, yeah, I can't really deal damage to myself to trigger the Centennial Puzzle. This is a little unfortunate. All right, well, I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Um, let's do Tantrum. Can't, I'm trying to think if there's a better way. Actually, no, there is, there is. So I can draw two cards, so next turn I'll draw that. Yeah, still doesn't help. What to do? I could draw two cards by uh, exiting Wrath and then entering it again. Can I? I don't think I can deal enough damage. Next turn, do I have a strong attack card? Depends on what foreign influence gives me. Yeah, I don't think I really have a chance here. The apparition showed up in the wrong turn. Maybe I could have planned it better with the frozen eye? I don't think so either, though. All right, uh, let's just focus on this. Uh, so let me do Tantrum. Okay, and then Wallop. All right. Next turn, I do have double damage. Uh, let me see what this gives me. Flying the unload card reality. Yeah, nothing super amazing. Let's take the unload here. Probably want to do double damage. Unload is not bad. Yeah, let's do unload. Okay. And then consecrate carve reality. Never mind, I can kill. All right, perfect this one. Very lucky. Okay, Diva, I forget I have six strength, right? Uh, so Diva form versus Devotion. Again, I think I'll go for the popper modifier. None of those two are worth it. If I had a wish or omniscience, I would have taken it, but... Okay, and here I wouldn't mine extra energy, but Sozo is too too bad. Like the fact that you can't use potions is pretty bad. Astrolabe is interesting, um, although I would have trouble getting rid of five cards. So I could do one bite, one apparition, but I probably don't want to do that. Yeah, I think I might. Oh, empty cage is also not useful, right? So, all right, let's do the Astrolabe, sure. Um, let's get rid of. Uh, actually, well, I can't get rid of more than one bite because I need the other sort of collector bonus. So let's get rid of one bite and then maybe the cards I don't like that much. So study, I probably don't play that often. It takes a little too long. And uh, what's another card I don't really play? Kind of like everything else. Yeah, the card I like least is probably Rushdown, although I'm not super happy about that. So what did I get? I got uh, Enlightenment is kind of useless. 
Um, did I get an upgrade crescendo? I think I did. And then a conjure blade. Oh, that's a rare card. I have to remove it. Yeah, didn't think of that. All right. I, I guess I have to hit a shop and remove a card there. It was a risk worth taking, I think. Uh, okay, so looks like there's a three lead path on the left. Okay, and there is at least one guaranteed shop on the path. That's good. I still need two curses, though. That might be important to get. Okay, so let's do um, Apparition. Uh, I do have... Well, I guess I can do Consecrate, right? Yeah, let's do Apparition, Consecrate. I'll take two damage, which is fine. And then I can do Follow-up to kill you. Uh, yep. And then Deceive Reality, and I can do Cutthroat Fade too. Okay. F actually, well, I can't play the follow-up, so let's not draw it. Mm -hmm. 14 incoming. Uh, now, let's do Safety and Fear No Evil. Um, or, or, yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. And then I'll take some damage from the Regret, but let's do follow-up, mir uh, Miracle, and then Protect. That way, I'll also take less damage from the Regret. Yep. All right, and here I just need, uh, what, uh, Apparition. I can't draw anything, right? Let's enter Wrath, though. I should be able to kill next turn, right? Apparition and Wallop does it. Okay. Wasted my double damage, though, unfortunately. Just like he Consecrate, let's take a second Consecrate. I might have trouble getting a lot of Collector bonuses, unfortunately. Okay, so probably Wrath Wallop, right? Or Crescendo Wallop? No, let's do Crescendo Indignation and Wallop go really overkill here. Actually, never mind. First turn kill. Third Eye, another Consecrate, sure. And the game is offering collector bonuses for me. Why wouldn't I take them? Okay, 30 incoming. Um, so I can do Crescendo. Let me first see what the Discovery gives me. Conjure Blade Bowling Bash is not a bad idea. Okay. And then I'll do Crescendo Empty Body. Yeah, let's do Crescendo Alt. Bowling Bash kills you. And then uh, Empty Body. 18 incoming. Probably want to do another crescendo because I can exit with the Fear No Evil, but I'm also pretty sure I can kill. Wing Boots. Very nice. You may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to three times, as well as a Cultist Potion, and I do switch stances often enough for Flurry of Blows to be worth it. Okay, so I can jump once, uh, twice here to hit two elites, and I think that's pretty much it, right? So let me think about another one jump, which I could do... Um, no, I think, I think I'll just jump over and then jump back. I don't think there's a better path. They'll also give me the shop here. And then there's no real reason to jump. I guess I can jump at the end for an extra question mark if I don't have enough curses. Even if I do, I might. Okay. Oh, uh, I do have a shop upcoming. I can't lose all my gold here, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm okay losing the Cultist Push. It takes forever to have an effect. We got Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. Who's my final boss, by the way? Not the Awakened one. Good. Okay. I messed up. Ooh, I messed up. Can I go back? I can't believe I messed up. I should have jumped over for the elite. No. Oh, well, there goes there goes a large amount of points. What a shame. Actually, I'll, I'll try one more thing here. Um, yeah, I'll try one more thing. I'll be back. Yeah, this was a futile attempt. I thought by crashing the game I could I could get back. But no, no, I, I just missed up messed up this elite. That's a shame. I guess I'll upgrade another apparition. Actually, no, let me upgrade that um foreign influence finally. Uh, I can't believe this. I have a wing boots and I'm not using it. Unbelievable. Sometimes that happens too though. Alright. Uh yeah, tantrum is a pretty good start, and then the consecrate will deal um so what will that be? Yeah, enough damage to kill the minions, I think. So let's do tantrum. And then, uh, yep, Consecrate, and I'll do the Save Reality. Okay, unfortunately, I'll be weakened next turn. There's a significant chance I should be able to kill here. Or I guess I can play the Apparition, right? Let's do Discovery for a Cutthroat Fate. Sure, Carve Reality would have been a good option, too. Another Apparition is probably unnecessary. Actually, why not? And then Follow-Up, Apparition. Oh, no, I forgot. I can't just play the Apparitions. I also need to get some block, right? So let me do just one Apparition and then a Safety. Okay. And I'll just play this. Mm -hmm. All right, even more incoming. Uh, and I cannot kill here, right? 59. No, I can if I play the power potion, right? Uh, the, the fire potion, I mean. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, perfect. This one, we got Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand because you have that turn, as well as an energy potion and uh, evaluate. Sure, I'll take it. 
I mean, now I have two jumps. I could jump over, but I don't really think I have to. Yeah, I would like to get to go for the next shop, so. I can't believe I missed that elite. All right, let's do Tantrum, kill... No, who? Let's kill... I don't know. Let's kill you. And then uh, follow up first. Okay, Apparition, Enlightenment, and uh, I don't think I'll... Well, let's do Empty Body. No reason to take damage. I have enough ways to enter Wrath. Okay, not getting attacked here. Yeah, that's another way of entering Wrath. Let's do Talk to the Hand and Bite. Okay. This guy's going to come back to life. Mm -hmm. And it's going to attack me for quite a bit. Let's do a uh, Discovery first. Ooh, I was hoping for an attack. So I was hoping to play the Indignation, but um, that's fine. Uh, let's do... Let's play the Alpha, Miracle, Indignation, Apparition, and then follow-up. Doesn't matter which one, right? Let's kill this guy. Well, that way I take one extra damage. Yeah, that's fine. I, I can heal back up with the bites, right? Um, bite you and kill you. Okay. We got an Entropic Brew. Very nice. Rush down, reach heaven. Yeah, sure. I'll take a rush down. Okay, here I got Horn Cleat. I'd serve you second turn. Gain 14 block. Very nice. All right, and then here, let me first remove the rare card before I forget for the popper modifier. I wouldn't mind removing that enlightenment too, but fine. Uh, chemical, no, definitely back of preparation. As salvage combat, draw two additional cards. Ooh, instance burn is also really good. But no, I think I should go with back of preparation. Another protect, another talk to the end. How many protects do I have at this point? Oh, I have to resort A to Z. Okay, so I have three protects. Yeah, let's get. Let's get the collector bonus for that. Uh, talk to the end is good. I am considering inner piece as well. Uh, let's take it. Okay. All right. Nemesis. Not getting attacked in the first turn. That's nice. Probably want to start up with the tantrum, right? Yeah, let's do tantrum. Talk to the hand. Uh, no, let me do carf reality and then double damage the smite. Okay. And then I can do talk to the hand. Actually, let's just kill with the bite, right? All right. We got meal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP, as well as I think I have enough protects. Do I have enough follow ups? No, I have three. Let's take the fourth one. Okay. And then, yeah, well, I guess I have an extra jump, so I can jump over here and then jump back and then jump back again. Why not? Still need two curses, actually. All right, let's do apparition one and carve reality first. Okay. Then follow up for free. Then apparition two. And then I think I'll do something like uh, Smite and Fly. Actually, yeah, I don't think I'll do Flying Sleeves here. Okay. All right. Uh, here I have a bunch of blocks. So let's do Tantrum. Mm -hmm. And then Wallop. Follow up. And uh, should be able to kill next turn. Oh, this turn is fine too. Got a regen potion. I don't think I'll need Swivel Tranquility. Let's take another Tranquility here. Okay. Giant Head. 13 incoming. Opening in Tantrum, but I don't think I can enter Wrath, right? Because I'll take too much damage here. Let's see what I get from this. Blood for Blood is zero cost. I'll take it. Um, I don't have any block though, right? What do I do? Let me see what Discovery gives me then. Um, halt is good if I can exit the Wrath once I enter it. Yeah, well, even then it's not enough, right? Okay, let's do Tantrum. I don't think we really have a choice here. Then Blood for Blood for over 100 damage. That at least gives me a bonus there. And then well, let's play the Halt. Okay. And then I'll do Miracle Carve Reality. Okay. I don't think there's anything I can do here, though. Bite. Gain energy back. And then Smite for 64. Yeah, even if I drink the Stance Potion, uh, I might have to go through the Entropic Brew, which I'd rather leave. This is tough. I just got an unlucky opening hand. I think I'll accept the damage just because this, the Entropic Brew would have to give me a Block Potion. That's the only way. Or like a Skill Potion or something. It's fine. I'll, I'll accept the damage here. I, think, uh, I don't think I have a chance of perfecting this one, so I might as well try to perfect the next one. Let's do Tantrum here. and uh, Actually, I should have played the um, Halt first and then Wallop. Okay. Alright, and then here, follow-up. Should have done Deceive Reality first. Okay. 
I can do Consecrate, Bite, Fear No... Oh, he's dead. All right. We got Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards to start your next turn. As well as, I think I barely have... Yeah, I have two, three Consecrates. Never mind, that's a collector bonus. And then one more jump. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll get enough Curses either. Uh, well, here I might lose all my gold, right? Uh, since I'm not getting Curses, I think I'll remove... Uh, sorry, if I'm not getting enough Curses, I think I'll remove Curses. So, yeah, let's remove... Um, Oh, actually, curses give me strength, so maybe I'll remove the enlightenment instead. Yeah, let's remove that instead, and then get a follow-up upgraded. Okay. All right, and then here might as well upgrade another. Oh, I don't even know if I need to upgrade apparitions, but sure, let's do it. Okay. All right, I still can't believe I skipped an elite here, but let's see how this goes. Okay. So I do have protect and evaluate. That should help. I would like to start with an attack. So I can play the follow-up. So I think I'll do bite. Yep. Then follow-up. Double damage. Yeah, somewhat of a waste, but okay. And then I'll do protect, miracle, evaluate. Okay. I'm going to save my potions until later. Until I have to play them. Okay, 26. Hmm. Trying to figure out a way to use the talk to the hand, which might be difficult, but possible. If I do Crescendo Indignation, then talk to the hand Energy Potion, Flying Sleeves and Consecrate, that will give me another 9 block. That's not enough. Yeah, but I think then I'll drink all the potions, so let's do it. So let's do Consecrate Indignation. Okay. Then talk to the hand, drink the Energy Potion, Consecrate, Flying Sleeves. Okay, 23, I need 26. One more attack. Um, let me drink this, enter calm, then drink the entropic brew. And you know, if I knew I had a duplication potion earlier, nothing I can do. Very unfortunate here. If I knew I had a duplication potion, I would just attack once more. What a shame. All right, since now I'm not perfecting, I don't, I don't particularly care about Either perfecting or not perfecting. Let's see what this gives me. Carnage is good. Okay. 52. Cut through fate. Another tantrum. That's good. Actually, the backline is dead, right? Well, almost. Let's do this. Smite and tranquility. Okay. All right. And then here. Yeah, this is fine. I can do... Well, let's do bite you and talk to the end you. Okay. And then smite. Should be able to kill next turn. Uh, yeah, maybe not do... Th Actually, I have a Fear No Evil, so I'm not too worried. So, yeah, let's do Crescendo. Apparition. Halt. Then um, Fear No Evil at the end. Let's do Smite. Wallop. And then kill. Yeah, too bad about the last Elite Fight. Also too bad about that... Uh, last boss fight, I mean. And then bad about that Elite Fight I missed. 1286. Yeah, a little disappointing. So, I definitely think it would have been possible to perfect the last boss if I gotten a little luckier, or even if I drank the um, Entropy Brew earlier. I would have definitely... I, I did get... So, so I think an extra 100 points should be relatively easy. And then I obviously skipped one Elite, which would have given me another 30 plus likely perfect, right? So, probably another 55 points. Uh, so, at least 13, 14... 30 something that that is possible i can't think of any any way to get beyond that i got five collector bonuses which is not bad um and i perfected five out of the six well seven elites so yeah let me review the scores again because i thought i saw warpa with a very high score yeah 1568s i do wonder like clearly um warpa did something like m drastically different from what i did uh so yeah please let me know in the comments what you did um even if I had not done the mistakes and gotten a little luck here, I don't think I could have passed the uh, 1430 range, which would have put me fourth. But then above that, that's another 150 points that I can't really think of how, how one would get there, unless you get a ridiculous amount of collector bonuses, which I clearly didn't get. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you did it. So thanks for watching. Bye.